Hey guys, so today I am recording a long-awaited video and it's going to be my 5,000 subscriber giveaway and it's also going to include an update on a video that I posted recently, kind of a story time video about my experience at Chanel. So if this look looks a bit over the top for you, that is because I just recorded it as kind of a New Year's Eve shiny, glittery, fancy going out look. So I've never actually done a look like this before and I'm really kind of excited. I like how it turned out. So I'll be posting a tutorial for that shortly. And just covering the last administrative matter today, I am drinking from this super cute honey mug from the Disney store. And I'm having some sweet almond organic green tea from David's Tea. Mm. It is so good. One of the YouTubers that I've been loving lately is Elle Florence. She's another lawyer and she's from Vancouver, so also fellow Canadian. Um, but she got the David's Tea Advent Calendar and after seeing her open the teas a couple of days in a row, I wanted one so badly. So I went to David's Tea. Unfortunately, they were all sold out, but I did pick up um, the best of 2016 and also just David's Tea Top 12 teas and I've been having those lately so this uh, organic sweet almond green is from I think the best of 2016 mm. and it's really good it has a nice green tea flavor but also kind of that almond like marzipan flavor which I really really like so what I'm going to be giving away today is this Chanel black caviar leather card holder with gold details so I will be talking about that at the end of the video but I want to talk a little bit about my update first so I posted a video I guess a week ago or two weeks ago now um, about my experience at Chanel in Vancouver where I talked about trying to buy my jumbo flat bag um, at Chanel there and just not having the best of luck um, kind of being turned away I guess which was very absurd to me but um, if you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link down below. I'll also put some sort of annotation or something like that in the video so you can actually click it. I think there are new things like that YouTube's doing instead of annotations. So if you see a little eye like in a circle either here or here floating or somewhere, click on it. It'll take you to a link to my previous video. But essentially so many people commented on that video saying, oh my goodness, how did you put up with such terrible customer service and why didn't you go to the manager right away? Well, like I said that day, I had just gotten engaged. I was really happy, over the moon. I didn't want to argue in the store. I just wanted to get out of there and keep enjoying our vacation. But after seeing so many comments saying you should reach out to corporate, I decided to do that. So I called the Vancouver store and asked them for the corporate number. They gave me a number in Quebec, which I guess is like the Chanel headquarters or something. But I kind of sat on that for a few days because I didn't really want to call a long distance number just to complain. Then I called a boutique in Toronto on Bloor Street. It's actually, I think, the uh, fashion house or maison of um, Chanel in Canada and so I called them and asked them for a corporate number and they gave me a local um, 416 number so called that number I think it still got me to the Quebec headquarters but it was a local number so I was fine with that and I spoke with a girl at um, Chanel corporate she was really sweet and she said that she would have a chat with the Vancouver manager and get the Vancouver manager to call me so this was a uh, Friday or Thursday and the Vancouver manager sent me a message saying um, I've spoken with our customer service representative and I'll be giving you a call either Friday or Monday. So Friday passed, she didn't give me a call. Monday, uh, I guess around 2 or 3 Toronto time, I sent her an email saying, hey, just following up, wanted to know if you were still planning on calling me today. And so she uh, sent me an email a few hours later saying, is now a good time to call? Mm. And so I responded saying, yep, you can call me whenever, I'm just in my office. And so she gave me a call and she said, it was actually a very odd conversation because she started by telling me how disappointed she was that I went to corporate first and didn't speak with her directly. She said that I should have talked to her the very day that it happened and because it was, you know, in September, it's basically three months ago at this point, which I agree, it is excessive, but I mean, I'm reaching out, so... I don't really want you to lecture me on whether I should have talked to you that day or not. Um, it was very odd and I told her, you know, I just got engaged that day, I didn't want to have to deal with a manager, whatever. So then she said about the boxes, she said that corporate hadn't sent them any boxes at that point in time and that actually it took two months for corporate to send them enough boxes for the bags that they had because this was a new store. And so uh, that 
was fine, I guess, whatever, there's nothing I can do about that, there's nothing they can do about that. And so I said, okay, I completely understand that, that's fine, I wish that the associate had explained that to me, that because they were a new store corporate hadn't sent them enough boxes, but she didn't. But then the thing that really made me upset in that phone call is the manager said, Oh, and you know, anyway, you were confused about which bag you wanted, so the sales associate was trying to do you a favor by giving you more time to decide which bag you actually wanted. And I said, no, that's not true at all. I came into the store knowing that I specifically wanted the black jumbo flap, caviar leather, gold hardware. I knew to a T exactly which bag I wanted, and I believe I'd even talked about it on my channel before. And she said, oh, well, the sales associate said, you know, you were very confused, you didn't know exactly which bag you wanted, and then you thought maybe you wanted boots. And so I said, yeah, you, I knew which bag I wanted, but then I saw the boots and I thought, oh, maybe I want boots too. And then I decided that I wouldn't have enough space in my luggage for the boots and the bag. And so she said, you know, the sales associate was really trying to do you a favor. And essentially the entire conversation felt like she was blaming me, like I should have talked to her right away, I shouldn't have gone to corporate first, I shouldn't have waited this long to reach out, I shouldn't have done this and I shouldn't have done that, and it was honestly so ridiculous that the manager of this boutique is telling me that I did something wrong because all I did was come into your store and try to buy a bag. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit heated and I don't like that because I really like to be a positive person, but this phone call just irritated me so much because I, I wasn't calling, like, you know, I, I held off purposely, even on making a video, for over two months after the event happened because I didn't want to cause a big fuss. A simple apology, a simple phone call, you know, I'm so sorry about this, this isn't a Chanel type experience, and we do value you as a customer, anything, even a card would have completely sufficed. But to have the manager call me and have the nerve to tell me that it was my fault, but you know what, I've thought about it and at first I was very irritated and I even tweeted saying I'm done with Chanel, I'm not going to be shopping there anymore. But you know what, I don't think that it's a problem with the company, I think that it's a problem with the fact that it's a new boutique and often I find that at new boutiques the customer service is not good. This is not just a Chanel thing, the Louis Vuitton store, they opened a Louis Vuitton store at the Saks um, in the Eaton Centre if you know Toronto. And I went there to try to buy um, the Speedy Bandoulier and the Empreinte that I spoke about on my channel. Holy crap. I have never seen such bad service at Louis Vuitton. Like, it was actually unbelievable. And it's so ironic that that happened to me. It happened just recently, like this week. So ironic that it's happening while this whole thing with Chanel is going on. But Louis Vuitton, honestly, for most of my time shopping with Louis, I had the same sales associate or client advisor or whatever they call them there. And she was phenomenal. She would text me all the time, invite me to events. She was so sweet. And then she moved to New York. So I don't have my own client advisor right now. I'm trying to find a good one. But I thought I had found one at the Louis Vuitton store, and then she supposedly ordered this bag in for me from another store. I asked her how long it would take. She said, oh, it's just coming from the Bloor store, so that's maybe like a 20-minute walk away. And she said it should be here within a day or two. This was on Sunday, and yesterday was Friday, and I called the store and said, just checking in to see what's going on with my bag. And the store manager said she had no idea what was going on, and then... Like, later that day, this was in the morning, later that day, um, the client advisor that helped me, or was going to help me, that ordered the bag in called me and said, Natalia, and I said, actually, my name is Natalie, and she said, oh, sorry, Natalie, uh, you called about the bag, and I said, I, I did, um, did you by any chance get it in, and she said, no, and I said, oh, Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you know how long it will be until you get it in? And she said, no, I'm not going to charge your credit card until it comes in, so I don't know what the problem is. And I was baffled. Like, that is exactly what she said to me on the phone. And I said, um, okay, you know what, that's okay. I'm just going to cancel the bag and I'll just go directly to the Bloor store and buy it. And she said, oh, so you don't want it anymore? And I said, yeah, th thank you. Just go ahead and cancel it. And so she said, okay, bye. And hung up. 
why 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 do these things happen to me i personally think it's bad karma i think i shouldn't have even put out the chanel video in the first place i don't like spreading negativity but i'm not going to take it down now because it's up i put it out and i'm going to stick with it it's a part of me and anything that i create i stand by but i really do want to step away from the negativity because i really do think that when you start surrounding yourself with negativity and putting negativity out negativity comes back to you so anyway, that was my Chanel update and just a little aside story time about this wonderful experience at Louis Vuitton. So I think I'll go out and get this Speedy B from the Bloor store sometime in the next few weeks, or maybe I won't. Who knows? I don't know. I'm tired of all of this. Shopping shouldn't be something that's stressful. It should be something that de-stresses you. And on that note, let's get into the giveaway because I want you guys to have a chance to be able to shop with me. So. Through this giveaway, I want to thank you all for 5,000 subscribers. That means so much to me. I know that now I'm at like 5,100 or something like that, which I cannot believe we're growing so fast. You guys are really a part of my family, and I appreciate you so, so much. And I'm sorry that this video is a bit overdue. I haven't gotten around to filming lately. I've been crazy busy. But the card holder. I know a lot of you have been asking about this and I'm really excited to bring it to you. So this is just going to be a really simple giveaway. I'm going to have it open to all of my subscribers, international, worldwide. Um, as long as you're over 18, completely fine to enter without doing anything in advance. If you're under 18, please ask your parents, guardians, whoever they are for permission. That would be great. If I'm going to be sending something to their house, they need to know about it. Fair enough? Fair enough. Okay, so the video is going, or the giveaway rather, is going to start today when I post this video. What date is it today? It is the 10th of December, and it's going to go on until the 10th of January for one month. So all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, of course, because it's open only to my subscribers, and leave a comment down below just stating that you want to enter and stating what your favorite designer brand is and why. Please only enter once. If I see that you're entering multiple times, you will be disqualified. The reason for this is that it's just not fair to everyone if someone enters like 30 times and another person only enters once. I will be searching usernames before I pick a winner and making sure that the winning entry only entered once. So if you enter more than once, you will be disqualified. Please don't do it. I'm also going to give you an additional chance to enter the giveaway via my Instagram account. So I'm going to be posting a picture of this card holder to my Instagram account. I will link the image down below. Just go to that picture, post a comment also saying what your favorite designer brand is, and if you're entering on Instagram for the extra entry, just leave me your Instagram channel or whatever it's called, your Instagram page down below so that I know who you are so I can give you an extra entry when I input all of the usernames into the random generator. Okay, I think that's all for the rules, but I always forget some rule or another. So please check the down bar down below. It will have the full details, full rules, full everything about the giveaway. Please ask that uh, or check that before you ask any questions in the comments. But yeah, one lucky winner will be receiving this beautiful Chanel card holder. I still do love Chanel despite my negative experience with the Vancouver store. It's not going to affect my idea or my how I feel towards the brand because I do love their aesthetic. I think it's so classic and so beautiful and so timeless. And the pieces really are great quality. If you buy, you know, even this card holder, it's going to last you for years and years and years. And I think that that's worth it. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your support. Really appreciate all of you. I honestly couldn't be more grateful to have such a wonderful, supportive, and loving family on here. You guys really mean the world to me. So with that, I will say goodbye for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you'll all enter my giveaway. And I cannot wait to see who wins this beautiful little card holder. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, I'll talk to you all really soon. I guess it happened and because it was you know in September it's basically three months ago at this point which I agree it is excessive but I mean I'm reaching out so I don't really want you to lecture me on whether I should have talked to you that day or not um it was very odd and I told her you know I had just gotten engaged that day I didn't want to have to deal with a manager whatever so then she said about the boxes she said that corporate hadn't sent them any boxes at that point in time and that Actually, it took two months for corporate to send them enough boxes for the bags that they had because this was a new store. And so uh, that 
was fine, I guess, whatever, there's nothing I can do about that, there's nothing they can do about that. And so I said, okay, I completely understand that, that's fine, I wish that the associate had explained that to me, that because they were a new store, corporate hadn't sent them enough boxes, but she didn't. But then the thing that really made me upset in that phone call is the manager said, Oh, and you know, anyway, you were confused about which bag you wanted, so the sales associate was trying to do you a favor by giving you more number. I think it still got me to the Quebec headquarters, but it was a local number, so I was fine with that. And I spoke with a girl at um, Chanel Corporate. She was really sweet, and she said that she would have a chat with the Vancouver manager and get the Vancouver manager to call me. So this was uh, Friday or Thursday, and the Vancouver manager sent me a message saying um, I've spoken with our customer service representative and I'll be giving you a call either Friday or Monday. So Friday passed, she didn't give me a call. Monday, uh, I guess around 2 or 3 Toronto time, I sent her an email saying, hey, just following up, wanted to know if you were still planning on calling me today. And so she uh, sent me an email a few hours later saying, is now a good time to call? Mm. And so I responded saying, yep, you can call me whenever, I'm just in my office. And so she gave me a call and she said, it was actually a very odd conversation because she started by telling me how disappointed she was that I went to corporate first and didn't speak with her directly. She said that I should have talked to her the very day that it up um, the best of 2016 and also just David's Tea Top 12 teas. And I've been having those lately. So this uh, organic sweet almond green is from, I think the best of 2016. Mm. And it's really good. It has a nice green tea flavor, but also kind of that almond like marzipan flavor, which I really, really like. So what I'm going to be giving away today is this Chanel black caviar leather card holder with gold details. So I will be talking about that at the end of the video, but I want to talk a little bit about my update first. So I posted a video, I guess, a week ago or two weeks ago now um, about my experience at Chanel in Vancouver where I talked about trying to buy my jumbo flat bag um, at Chanel there and just not having the best of luck um, kind of being turned away I guess which was very absurd to me but um, if you want to watch that video I'll leave a link down below I'll also put some sort of annotation or something like that in the video so you can actually click it I think there are new things like that YouTube's doing Hey guys, so today I am recording a long-awaited video and it's going to be my 5,000 subscriber giveaway and it's also going to include an update on a video that I posted recently, kind of a story time video about my experience at Chanel. So if this look looks a bit over the top for you, that is because I just recorded it as kind of a New Year's Eve shiny, glittery, fancy going out look. So I've never actually done a look like this before and I'm really kind of excited. I like how it turned out. So I'll be posting a tutorial for that shortly. And just covering the last administrative matter today, I am drinking from this super cute honey mug from the Disney store. And I'm having some sweet almond organic green tea from David's Tea. Mm. It is so good. One of the YouTubers that I've been loving lately is Elle Florence. She's another lawyer and she's from Vancouver, so also fellow Canadian. Um, but she got the David's Tea Advent Calendar and after seeing her open the teas a couple of days in a row, I wanted one so badly. So I went to David's Tea. Unfortunately, they were all sold out, but I did pick up doing instead of annotations. So if you see a little eye like in a circle either here or here floating or somewhere, click on it, it'll take you to a link to my previous video. But essentially, so many people commented on that video saying, oh my goodness, how did you put up with such terrible customer service, and why didn't you go to the manager right away? Well, like I said that day, I had just gotten engaged, I was really happy, over the moon, I didn't want to argue in the store, I just wanted to get out of there and keep enjoying our vacation. But after seeing so many comments saying you should reach out to corporate, I decided to do that. So I called the Vancouver store and asked them for the corporate number. They gave me a number in Quebec, which I guess is like the Chanel headquarters or something, but I kind of sat on that for a few days because I didn't really want to call a long distance number just to complain. Then I called a boutique in Toronto on Bloor Street. It's actually, I think, the uh, fashion house or maison of um, Chanel in Canada and so I called them and asked them for a corporate number and they gave me a local um, 416 number so called that